The Dance Music Archive. Oceanic with Insanity, Shades of Rhythm and the incredible sound of Eden and Expansions with Elevation, Move Your Body. It's the Dance Music Archive on Kistry. I'm Andy Durant. Thanks for coming. You might think this next artist was from somewhere like Manchester or London because she was such a big part of the early UK dance scene, but we actually head over to Zimbabwe next. This is Rosala and the all-time classic Everybody's Free. Everybody!
It's 1121. Do you know where your teenager is? He or she could be checking out a rave. A new fad among the suburban set where kids come to the inner city and party all night long in an abandoned warehouse. The Dance Music Archive on Crystal with Andy Durant. 1991. Music Archive on Kistry. I'm Andy Durant and we started this little hot mix with Rizala. Everybody's free. After that, on a legendary label called Suburban Bass from Romford in Essex. Early pioneers of that old school hardcore rave and drum and bass kind of sound. We did Sons of the Loop de Loop era with Far Out and then Bizarre Ink in the background with Playing With Knives. The Quadrant Mix, named after Quadrant, a very important Liverpool venue that closed its doors. Actually on New Year's Eve uh, for the final time in 1991. Quadrant Park, a converted warehouse, actually one of the first in the country to sort of play Acid House and Rave, which gets forgotten about, really. Uh, and for a long time as well, it was the only venue in the UK to be allowed to stay open all night due to some kind of licensing loophole with the local council. It was kind of short-lived, but massively important for the northern scene, a really iconic place that, I suppose, set the stage for places like Cream, and I guess one of the original super clubs, really, you know, that people would travel across the country in big groups to go to on a Friday and Saturday night. And this was another of the big anthems from there. It is a wonderful piece of music as well. It really gives me goosebumps thinking about what it must have been like in those heady, exciting early days. This is Collapse and My Love.
and I love the ambient drops mix. What a beautiful, simple piece of electronic music that is. I'm Andy Durant. 120 minutes of incredible music and a, a few fun little history lessons here and there as well, celebrating two amazing years in dance. Hopefully you're enjoying the dance music archive so far and our little journey back in time. I have got a rave anthem from a guy who went on to write scripts for Coronation Street, some classic KLF and Utah Saints, some Italian piano house and a load more as well as we continue 1991 on Kistory next. Sunday night, Kistory. Oh, the Check out my Dance Music Archive on Kistory. The sound of Sunday nights on Kistory. I'm Andy Durant. A massive thanks for listening to the Dance Music Archive. In about 25 minutes, we're going to be kicking off 2010, which was a surprisingly brilliant year for dance music. I think you'll like that. But right now, we are back in 1991. Long time ago, the year Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. Uh, if you're going down to your local cinema, you might be able to see Terminator 2, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, The Silence of the Lambs, or Thelma and Louise. And Nintendo had just released the SNES. What a year. And dance music is really just coming out of those early rave and acid house years. A lot of electronic tracks were starting to make their way onto the radio as well. I've been going through it over the last few days, getting the music together. And it's just amazing how positive everything is. Everything just makes you feel good.
K-Class and Rhythm is a Mystery. And if you didn't manage to catch it over the Christmas and New Year week, K-Class were one of the guests with Sister Bliss on her incredible series, Dance Britannia, uh, which ran from Christmas Day and over the, the sort of Christmas week. You can listen back to that now on the Kiss Cube or the Kiss Player right now on the website. It's so, 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 so good. It's really genuinely amazing. People like Fatboy Slim on there as well, Paul Oakenfold. Uh, it's just it's just brilliant. Please do go and listen if you get a chance this week. I also played to Utah Saints and What Can You Do For Me, made after Tim and Jez Utah's walked into a charity shop, picked out two records from the bargain basement bin at random, which happened to be by Eurythmics and Gwen Guthrie, sampled a little bit from each and ended up making that massive early British dance hit. Next up, Nomad, the alter ego of a guy called Damien Roachford. He's from Cardiff. Um, really interesting guy, actually. We spoke about him on the show before because he'd been a producer, um, had massive hits. He was a TV presenter and then actually a scriptwriter writer for Coronation Street as well as one of those really annoying talented people who can just do anything I think <laughs> fair play this is Nomad and I want to give you devotion I want to give you devotion Come for me, 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 come for me
Why don't you come for me? Come for me? Come for me? Because I'm gonna entertain. I'm gonna entertain. Come for me. I'm gonna entertain. I'm gonna entertain. I'm gonna entertain. I'm gonna entertain. Come for me. I'm gonna entertain. I'm gonna entertain. But some of the crazy, some of the black, some of the hard attack. But some of the lyrics, some of the fast, some of the like that. But the best of the rest, some of the tension, some of the back and ease. I come to the microphone, I just another cool breeze. I just another cool breeze.
bigger and bolder and rougher and tougher In other words, sucker, there is no other I'm bigger and bolder and rougher and tougher In other words, sucker, there is no other Resource and Dominator, a Dutch dance act with one of the original tracks to use the Hoover sound, which is that sound that goes like woo, which I, I can't really do, but um, it, it was a sound that sort of came from this Roland synthesizer called an Alpha Juno. It was like heavily, heavily used by a lot of hard dance and hard house and rave tunes over the following 20 years. It sort of became that quintessentially rave sound, um, also used by pop acts like uh, people like Rihanna, Girls Aloud, and Lady Gaga when they wanted to sound a bit more ravey as well. And I suppose Dominator is one of those early tunes that kind of started it all off by being a big underground hit back in 91. Before that, Jimmy Corti and Bill Drummond, better known as the KLF, with Justified and Ancient, featuring <laughs> country star Tammy Wynette, which was about as weird as collabs go, really. And this was the year before they dumped a dead sheep at the Brit Awards, they burned a million quid um, on a Scottish island, and they deleted their entire back catalogue and vanished. <laughs> I do miss the KLF.